Hello, Junior Achievement. This is Mayor Razzle Bliss here at City Hall. Wanted to share with you a little bit about what I do and my background and what brought me to this space where I sit today. Uh, so I can tell you that when I was your age, I never ever imagined uh, running for office or being mayor. So I, uh, I grew up here in Michigan from a big family and went away to college and uh, then went to graduate school at Michigan State, got a master's degree in social work and spent a little over 20 years in the field of domestic violence and child welfare. And it was through my work that I started to get engaged in the community around issues that I thought were really important, knowing that um, in order to help people, we needed to make sure that the community was a better place so that people could be successful. And it was really through that advocacy work that I um, had a group of folks who uh, I got to know who encouraged me to run for office. So. Back in 2005, I ran for city commission for the second ward of our city. So our city uh, has a population of about 200,000 people, and it's separated into three wards. So there's first ward, second ward, and third ward. Uh, and the second ward is the northeast side of the city. So like Creston area, um, a little bit of uptown, uh, East Hills. Uh, so I represented that portion of our city for about 10 years on the city commission. So I would help people with problems, I would pass budgets, uh, determine city services, I'll fill you in on what the key ones are that we oversee. And then back in, uh, it was five years ago now, when my predecessor was finishing up his term as mayor, he encouraged me to run for mayor. So I ran a pretty competitive race and was elected um, five years ago. Last year I was up for re-election, so I'm in my second term, my first year of my second term. Uh, and I'm really delighted to serve as mayor. So in our city, we are a city manager form of government, meaning that the mayor and the city commission, we are technically part-time, although I assure you this is a full-time job and then some. Uh, but what it means is that we have a professional CEO that runs the day-to-day -day operations here at City Hall. And then you have an elected body and we pass policies and um, the budget. So we have really important decisions to make but I don't run the day-to-day -day operations. So I have four individuals who report to me, uh, the city manager being one of them, and then the city manager oversees all of the department heads, including the police chief and fire chief and parks director, water and sewer director. Uh, so here at the city, that's what we do. We provide essential services to folks throughout our community, and then we work on projects to do everything we can to make sure that people here in our city are supported, but also that um, they feel like they're a part of this community and uh, they can be successful here, right? We want people to want to live here, raise their families here, find a job here, start a business here. So what our job is, is to make sure Grand Rapids is the best possible city for everyone who calls Grand Rapids home. And we do that in a lot of different ways. Uh, I already shared with you a lot of the departments that we oversee. So when you see a Grand Rapids fire truck or, or a police car, um, those are essential departments right here in the city that we oversee. Our job as elected officials is to make sure that those departments are really community focused and community minded uh, and we do a lot of work around that every single day. Um, so in closing, there's lots that I do. I wish I could see you face to face, but under these conditions with the current pandemic, I hope this little video gives you a hint of what I do every single day here at City Hall. Um, and I hope you someday, especially the young ladies who are watching this, I hope you consider running for elected office. Um, we need a whole lot more people in public office who care deeply about their city. And even though we've made successes uh, and strides in electing women, we still need more women to run for office. So there's only about 30% of the elected positions right now uh, throughout our country that are held by women. We really need to get to that 50%. So hopefully you'll think about that. Uh, and with that, enjoy the rest of your day.